This is in memorial of my father, or him. His name is Roland. He's been gone six years now from our family. He was definitely a family man. He's buried over 63 years. Celebrating at the church. Anniversary of the wedding. 60th anniversary. Invited the parish pastor priest, Father Sullivan, to dinner, celebration, to the house. He loved to go traveling with his wife, especially in the month of October, which was the birthday month of his wife. This is one of the more recent trips to Alaska, dog sledding. Here he is filming outside of a co-pilot seat in a helicopter in Alaska. And he loved to play piano, just uh, self-taught different types of songs, kind of from honky-tonk to light swing. He loved the family gatherings. So the Christmas here is on the mainland in Cleveland. And in Honolulu, the children have grown up, two of his sons and grandson. They like to stay at home and relax and watch westerns on TV. When we grew up down the street, we watched the moon landing on television. Started to get pet, there's our pet dog, Keiko. We were very young, we the here and birthday parties, exploring the islands. And he really loved his wife, which made for a very a loving family. Six children, three daughters, and then younger three sons. He came to the islands before we had moved here from Chicago area. He was a federal aviation agent, so he was an air traffic controller. He got transferred to Honolulu. So we explored the islands before, took some photos, and found us a place. And then when we moved, there's the three daughters. There was the time of the crater festivals inside Diamond Head Crater. Once in a while, sort of a post 60s music festival. And also inside the Diamond Head Crater is where he worked as an air traffic controller. His wife, my mother, started to work at a Channel 13 television station, so we were able to get multiple reoccurring tickets to the local children television show, Checkers and Pogo. I'd be the ones leaning up against the checker, Mr. Checker's car there. And my brother is sitting on the back of that back car. So my sister got a dog, Keiko. We had lots of friends from the local Kahala Elementary. We'd always get together for birthday parties or a pool party. Eventually, every summer, we went once to Europe with all six of us siblings and 
the last international travel was just the two youngest brothers, me and my brother, and I'm mom and dad, basically in the middle of this photo, down to Mexico. And at the end of those trips, they would swing around and visit relatives on the left more the Chicago area and that would be my older brother or the eldest son and since he was an, in the Federal Aviation Agency as an air traffic controller oftentimes he would be able to just observe and hitch a ride on the, the cockpit of an airplane one of my sisters got into hula dancing this is the Waikiki Shell. On some summer vacations, we went to Disneyland. There was definitely one Disneyland trip. The older siblings went one way, and the younger went with the other way. This is me and my younger brother with Keiko. In the backyard, we had at the other house pool. And my eldest sister got a cat because the other one had a cat. And Kaiko and then our brother and we blows and we went down to Florida, visited Disney World, and then headed up the East Coast and South Nation's capital. And the sites And then Weeblos went to Boy Scouts and graduations and other birthdays. We had visited Marineland. My father definitely took us to national parks and historic places. All of those were great vacation family vacation areas and of course the monuments in Washington DC Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and of course at the end we'd swing around and visit relatives this would be Uncle Nick and then there's anniversaries and some of the anniversaries. It's definitely a family man. I lived in Hawaii occasionally we'd bump into a celebrity. Here we met the actor who played on Beverly Hillbillies. Betty Ep Buddy Epstein. Ed Clampett he played. He had overturned his Hobie cat and we helped him upright it. He's got a little earlier. And living in Hawaii as a kid, playing in the sand and a lot of the photos are birthday parties. A lot of the photos were taken by my father so he's sort of rarely in a lot of them. And then towards the end he was worn down by emphysema, a type of COPD. Let us love his family. Loved his flying days in the Air Force as a P-51 fighter pilot in the Korean War. Loved his wife and his Christmas gatherings. He's just an all-around great guy. Very family man. Very decent oriented. It's his eldest daughter. So, just done a little memorial. We haven't forgotten you. Yeah, we still miss you, Roland. 
Still say our prayers for you. And he did enjoy traveling with his wife. They went to many places, not just Alaska. They went a lot. And he lectured at the local church, our local parish church, Star of the Sea. And he definitely loved to play the piano for relaxing. We miss you, Roland. We love you very much. Maybe one day we see you again. Happy Father's Day.